This is code.org. I'm working on the CS Discoveries course. I'm currently on their web development unit, and I'm on Lesson 13, RGB Colors and Classes. All right, Summer and Autumn Classes. Inside the style sheet, create a new rule set for a summer class. Add a rule to set the text in summer class to your summer RGB color. Add the summer class to the summer element in the HTML page. Do the same for the autumn class. All right, so add a rule set, add a rule to set the text in the summer class to your summer RGB color. So to set it to that, we're going to go way over here and we need to click on style.css and then once here we actually are going to click on we need to click on over here the style sheet and now we need to add a rule to the set to set the text in your summer class so they have a winter set up here right the dot means that that is our winter class those are the rules for winter and spring dot okay so that means class but there's nothing for summer so i'm going to go ahead and hit enter and i'm kind of going to cheat and by that i mean i'm just going to look at what they did for spring dot and do it for summer boom and boom okay i always close it right away because i often forget and it messes it up if it is not closed all right and then set the text in your summer class to the summer color okay and remember to set the color of text you just use color colon and i'm just going to test this out right now with red obviously that's not the rgb color but let's test all right now i'm going to scroll down and make sure summer is working oh strange it isn't why not because classes have to be in the html just having a class on the CSS does nothing because CSS only can talk to the HTML. And if the HTML says what class, it doesn't do a thing. So I clicked way over here because I want it on the index page. Okay. And the CSS is working because in the head tag, they already linked it. Real equal style sheet, style.css. So that we can leave alone. And this is why winter is working. Oh, I wonder how that got deleted. Oh, well, um, this should say class winter. All right, and that's why spring has its effect showing, right? Because class dot class equals spring. Make sure not to do this. I've seen this a lot. You don't want to do that because then it won't work. It's actually within the start of each tag. So I'm going to go way down. I bet it's not fall. They want summer. And right here, I'm just going to do class equals, and then in quotes, I'm going to use the word summer. Keep in mind, I'm now going to copy and paste this, right? copy uh keep in mind though that you can name it class bob and it would still work as long as you do dot bob for that i'm just going to use control v because we do want the exact same thing all of this is part of the same class oops i need a space here and hopefully i don't know if i need image tag did they tag spring um they did nope nope they didn't all right because you can even put a class on that so I think we're good on summer, at least. Let's see if I'm going to hit refresh and save. Scroll down. Oh, and obviously I don't want it red. Now let's go back and add the color. Now the color I got is not red. We're going to do RGB, right? So delete all this. RGB. And the color I got was actually 255, 230, and 100 colon yours might not be exactly that um, it's probably similar i'm going to do our refresh and save and scroll down and see what we have okay great so summer's looking good add the summer class to the summer element oh we already did that do the same for autumn oh okay so now i'm going to do dot autumn yep and now i need to do a bracket and another curly bracket to close okay i'm gonna go ahead and write color and then i'm gonna test this with orange and now let's go over to our index page 
And once on our index page, we now need to go find what we want to add the class to for autumn, which I guess is full. I did dot autumn, so we need to make sure class equals, and then in quotes, autumn. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Copy. And then I'm going to hit Control-V just to go ahead and paste it. And any type of element we put this on, it will now have whatever we put into the CSS for that class. Right? To make my point, I'm going to actually mess this up. And in the middle of all the summer tags, I'm going to also throw in autumn. All right, let's go back to CSS. Um, and then, oh wait, let's make sure this is working. And notice that this is orange now, right? Because you can put the class wherever you want. And that's what it will change uh, or apply the class. So I'm going to go ahead now and do my RGB. For my autumn colors, what I got, well, it was an orangey color. It was 212 for mine, and yours might be different. This one they kind of left up to you. Uh, 212, 91, 81. Let me hit refresh and save. Maybe, there we are. Oh, hot. <laughs> and yeah, that was my autumn color. So I'm actually just going to go back. I'm not sure why. Well, this one I know why I changed it. But for some reason, my stuff up here got changed or deleted. So I'm going to go ahead and fix that again. Um, but we now have those classes fully applied as instructed. Um, do the same for the autumn class. Yep. I'm going to hit refresh and save one more time. Let's check on everything. And that is looking great. Awesome.